Hi everyone, this is Matthew Stillman of StillmanSays.com, and I wanted to talk today about the novel which I've written called Genesis to Flowered, which is coming out really soon. Uh, today is July 16th, and it's coming out in the next couple weeks. And so Genesis to Flowered is an interesting book, I think. It is taking the biblical book of Genesis and... I've added text to it to turn it into an erotic novel. So I took the King James Version, which was the classic um, version, the most poetic version, and I really loved the language of that, and um, added text to all these sort of little scenes inside of it to sort of explore the erotic space of all the characters in the Bible. So why did I do that? That's a good question. So here's the story, and I want to give you some of the origins of how Genesis to Flower came to pass. So a friend of mine named Jill, uh, Jill Hamilton, her name just escaped me for a second. Jill Hamilton writes a great uh, sex blog called In Bed with Married Women, and she was asking for my help looking for some research on an article she was writing about very strange erotica. And I found a bunch of very strange erotica on Amazon, really just out there stuff like, you know, I'm being impregnated by a Yeti and goblins raped me, but whatever, like really strange stuff. But as you sort of know is when you follow anything on Amazon, if you like this and you like that, and then you like that, so I suddenly started to find myself in this strange corner of the Amazon universe, and I found this book that was called, that, I forget what it was called, but it was an erotic retelling of Mary getting pregnant. And I read the sample of it, and it was just absolutely awful. I mean, just terribly written. Um, but they had a lot of really good reviews, and the reviews very broadly said, this book made me feel closer to Jesus. And I now understood more what Mary must have felt like to be so scared and yet so loved at the same time. And I understand this is how I connect to my religious feelings. And I was really amazed that such terrible writing captured something really primal that these people seem to be experiencing, which was connecting this powerful religious feeling, this powerful spiritual feeling with a powerful sexual feeling. And those are two forces that are often divorced from each other in our lives, in our world, and certainly in the Western world. We don't get that a lot. Um, the two never shall meet if we have them at all. Um, and suddenly there was this place, and I thought, if there is this sort of desire to connect those, and some people do have a desire to connect those, and I certainly do, I thought this could be done a lot more interestingly and more with more fun and I, I thought done better. Uh, so the time I, that I came across this book, I had been involved in a poetry memorizing class and well, not a class, it was a group more. Um, and I really sort of had poetry on the on the brain at the time and I sort of have a great love for the the poetry of that time, sort of that Elizabethan, Jacobean, you know, early 1600s style. Uh, and so I thought, you know, being a Jewish kid from New York City, I'm just going to start with the Old Testament and start from the beginning, which is in some ways where our sexual theology springs from. You know, Genesis with the uh, garden, with Adam and Eve, in some ways, like we really get a lot of our sexual theology comes right out of Genesis. And it's a mixed story that we get. We get a sense like, oh, it's beautiful and it's perfect, and also it's sin and it's bad, and our bodies are an incarnation of sin, um, of that original sin. So I really wanted to re-explore that, and I thought, you know, why not take this really structured approach and try to recreate the, the language of the Bible? How would these Bible writers, Bible translators, have written about sex if they were little less chaste, but still wrote chastely. So that's what Genesis to Flowered is. It is a adding of text to original biblical text to look at the connection between sex and spirituality and hopefully recast some of the 
the sexual theology that we've inherited. Uh, the biblical tradition is one that's full of uh, people's interpretations of it, and those additions have always made for new Bible texts. You know, Genesis was written by multiple people, and there's different authors to it. There's the J text and the Y. Uh, certainly in the Gospels, there's all these different strands and different threads of periods um, of history that were sort of merged together into one text. And so I consider myself to be part of that tradition in the sense that I'm interested in the scholarship and did lots of scholarship in the book um, to come up with stories that would merge into the original. So that's the origins of the novel Genesis to Flowered. I uh, hope you guys take a look when it comes out in a few weeks, and if you want to sign up for the mailing list, if you're not on it, uh, take a look at the, the link right here, there. It's going to be somewhere around here. And um, hope you read it, and thanks so much for watching. See you soon on YouTube. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.